Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, and in this episode, we're starting it off with World 4. Now that 1 through 3 are, well, kind of completed, and the first level of World 4 is Supermassive Galaxy, the level with extremely tiny enemies. Yeah, it's kind of an oxymoron, because it says that what makes them really small, I don't even forget why it does that. I don't even get why it does that, but no, we're going to just get right to it and get star number 1. Which is located on top of this coin. Yeah, you know where the coin is, just jump off of it. And there you go, number one. Number two is actually located near these thwomps. What you gotta do is you gotta in between these two. I'm gonna have to do something a little bit tricky. You're gonna have to jump off here and then spin. And that'll make you star number two. That one is actually pretty stinking hard, I'll give you that. And finally for number three, you gotta make yourself to the cinema bun planet, I don't know what you'd call it. And this one is actually a little bit clever on Nintendo's part, I'll definitely give them that. The first thing you need to do is you need to actually jump into the power star, or actually not the power star, the, uh, the launch star, to get rid of your drill. Simply now all you gotta do is triple jump to get your star, and that, that's pretty much it for Supermassive Galaxy. And alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time that we head to Flipsville for our next Green Star Gathering Jamboree. <laughs> Gotta be any more awkward, yes I could be, and we're gonna be doing that in Flipsville, because this place is an awkward level, and I personally do not like doing it. Star number one is located right next to the first launch star, and as you can obviously see, it's uh, right stinking here. Couldn't it be any easier than that? Star number three is located near this live stream. I actually had to stink and uh, pick it up. I was going to actually show it on screen, but I actually took damage and said actually a lot. Anywho, all you got to do is simply jump onto the roof that is over here near these chain chomps and grab yourself star number two. And all right, now it's time to do star number three, which is a tiny bit complicated. Basically, we're going to have to get to where the warp star is right before the boss this level. And we're gonna have to get onto this ledge, which in itself is a giant pain in the butt. Okay, now that we're on this ledge, we're gonna have to fall off of it and fall into this star. You see, the gravity's going this way, so if I do this correctly... Yes, I finally got it! Ugh. That star is so hard, it is stupid, but we finally got it, and now we're done with Flipsville. Now the unspeakable horror that is Flipsville is gonna be completed. It's time to go, honey. Hop Galaxy, which admittedly has pretty easy green stars to find, one of which can literally be done in like, <laughs> be done in like two seconds. Which is this star, actually. Uh... And alright, we're finally here. Now what we need to do is basically grab onto this dandelion. Now what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna run into this red balloon, and right behind it should be the green star. Yeah, right there. Star number three literally couldn't be any easier. All you have to do is basically fly up to the queen at the end of the level, or I guess the queen bee, it's not really Princess Peach, and jump off her belly, and right in front of her face is the green star, but the problem is her antennas are like always in the way. Yeah, it's kind of annoying actually. Let's try that again. <laughs> so just get off her belly and fly into the green star, and it's yours free of charge. Now let's head over to Sweet Mystery Galaxy and get some succulent green stars. I was trying to do alliteration, but I couldn't think of anything that uh, was alliteration. Glittering, glistening green stars. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Just past the first checkpoint, you can already see the green star. What we have to do is basically come over here and simply wait for Yoshi's glow bulb to, uh, well, wear out, so we can fall right onto the star and remain perfectly safe. So let's do just that. We We fell down and we get the green star. Really, 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 really easy one to do. Now, green star number two is actually where the prankster comet is. All you basically have to do is just use Yoshi's flutter kick and, well, just get it. It's just out in the open like that. With Sweet Mystery Galaxy completed, it's time we headed back to Al Delfino and get even more green power shines. I don't know why I'm saying shines, but <laughs> I guess if I said a shine, it'd be on the most appropriate level of me doing Starshine Beach, now wouldn't it? Star number one is easy enough. All we gotta do is have Yoshi 
and get this blimp flute or fruit, but <laughs> whatever. And then we're gonna get rid of it and then collide directly into the star. Star number three is quite the endeavor. First, you need a Yoshi. Second, you need a Luigi. And next, we're gonna come over to this giant cool reef area. And then we're gonna hold the A button down to make Yoshi flutter kick. We're gonna dismount Yoshi and just narrowly miss the star that we're looking to catch. So we're gonna try that again now. My morale is still intact after a one failed attempt. It would take a lot more for me to fail. And it turns out I succeeded in obtaining the star. And okay, for star number three, we have one of the more frustrating missions. First thing that you need to do is you need to go into this tower by swimming under it and activate it so we can get a cloud suit. With cloud suit in hand, it's time to actually get onto this lily pad and take it all the way to this fishing bobber type thing. Now, the real difficult thing about this is if you obviously touch water, the cloud suit is nullified, so yeah. Now, the thing about this is you want to get the fishing bobber to, uh, well, kind of be in the center. Now we're gonna have to ground pound it, or we just won't be able to reach. So, come on, come on, nope, okay. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is jump on this, ground pound, then use our clouds to escalate the area. Okay, and one more backflip should do it. And that is that star, it is quite a pain. But if you keep trying at it, you'll probably get it. Bro, now that we're done with the mistaken water level, we're just gonna go to the chomp works. Do some work. And the chomp works. Yeah, I don't really want to do any work, but yeah, we're doing work, yo! Cause we're the chomp works, man! Star number one is actually pretty close to the area. What you gotta do is you gotta continually keep backflipping behind these chomps. And uh, yeah, that's actually kind of a pain. You guys are constantly spawning more chomps. Now that we just need to just jump straight to the star, I had to actually be pretty quick about that. Because I don't want to get swamped, swamped by the chomps. Now, star number two is located near these flipping platforms. Basically, what we have to do here is we have to get on top of this thing that is spawning these chomps. It's easier said than done, because, well, this thing is kind of annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip up this part, and then we're going to try and flip up this part. Actually, no, this is a lot easier than I remember. Now, we're just going to walk all the way over here, and hey, there's a little secret. Haha, <laughs> looky there. And that star is actually right here. What was I talking? This wish is stinking easy! I don't remember what I was talking about, but yeah, that's where the star is. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty hidden. Pretty hidden. Now at the last checkpoint of this level, we're gonna have to use Spring Luigi and spring up this, uh, oh crap. <laughs> we're gonna have to spring up this platform, or actually this section, these variety of platforms, I guess you said. And we're gonna have to just get up here. Now, the green star is at, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate Spring, Mario, and Luigi, gosh dang it. I hate the characters, I just hate the stick and controls, man. Ugh, so finicky. Anywho, directly to the right of us right now is, well, a roof. And on top of that roof is the green star that we're searching for. So we're gonna get some leeway, and then we're gonna jump directly off, and hope that we can land on top of it. We're gonna get on the teetsy top of it, and boom, there we go. That is the green star. That is the last one for the Chomp Works. Now there's only one last galaxy in World 4 that we have to get green stars in, and that's Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. So what do you say we tna- we- we knock out what? We knock out these two green stars, and then we'll be done with all of World 4. Dang, I'm kicking these places butts! Because I'm stinking Johnny Oz. Now right at almost the beginning of the level, you're gonna come to this area. Now before you go up these stairs, if you actually backflip, and then jump onto this pillar, yeah, who's gonna guess this? <laughs> There is the first green star for the Gravity Gauntlet. Now for the final star of World 4, all we're gonna have to do is jump onto this hidden block and right above it is our green star. A simple backflip and a spin at the end will nab us. The final green star of this episode and guys, we're just piling through this game. We're just piling through the content. I was like, boom, I'm gonna do worlds one, two, three, four. And next we're gonna do five. Cause I, I'm just wanna make it we get all the star, all the green stars in a world in one episode, because I am dedicated to providing as much content to you guys as physically possible. These videos are, to be perfectly honest, quite a pain to make because, well, I basically was recording for two hours because this actually took me a lot of attempts to do. And when this is all going to be edited and uploaded, it's probably be at max 13 minutes. So put that into perspective for. 60 minutes of work, I got 13 minutes, and only basically one video out of it. So, yeah. Uh, 
These videos are a pain, but we're piling through the game, and that's what I'm about here. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're heading to World 5. So I'll see you guys then.